Now he's actually currently trying to walk. He's, uh, you know, lifting himself up and climbing on top, on top of everything, crawling around. Elias turned one this week, a happy and healthy little boy. While his dad, Bruce McIntyre, is celebrating like any proud father, it's also a bittersweet day for this family. Elias' birthday is also the anniversary of his mother's death. She died in childbirth. And he is just such a happy baby, you know? And it just, it just hurts me knowing that this happened to his mother and how much happier he, he would be with his mother and um, just seeing them two bond, you know, um, would have been such a beautiful thing. We first brought you the story of Amber Rose Isaac last year. Her death sparked outrage and shed light on the growing racial divide in maternal health care. Black mothers in the U.S. die three to four times the rate of white mothers. Locally, the rate is even higher. Black moms are 8 to 12 times more likely to die from childbirth-related issues. The likely cause? Racial bias and discrimination. An overall sentiment that black women are not listened to when they speak up about pain or potential complications and asked to be checked out. Bruce is now turning his loss into advocacy and awareness. And I want him to know how divine his mother was, how uh, loving and caring she was. I want him to know that his mother is special enough to change the world. He has spent the past year raising Elias as a single parent and has started the Save a Rose Foundation named after Amber. He has spoken out about the racial disparities in health care and lobbied state lawmakers to pass legislation to improve access to health care, covering midwifery and doula services, opening a birthing center in the Bronx, and so much more. McIntyre has now made it his life's mission to make sure what happened to his family does not happen to another. Some people feel like this isn't their issue, but they don't realize that this is going to affect them in the future whenever they do decide to have a family. The CDC found 60% of pregnancy-related deaths can be prevented with access to stable housing, transportation, and overall better health care. Bruce McIntyre finds solace in his young son, the child, a picture of health and a reflection of his mother. I see it in the smile, I see it in his eyes. Um, you know, it, sometimes it's, it's, it feels like she's looking at me, you know, and it, it, sometimes I, I just sit there and I look at him and I'll choke up because of, of how much he reminds me of his mother. I'm Shirley Chan for PIX11 News.